What's up, y'all? In this video, we are gonna talk about the rules of logarithms. In a previous video, we talked about what a logarithm actually is. If you missed that, check it out linked in the description below. In the meantime, let's get to it. So we've got our rules of logarithms here, but before we get into this, what I'd like to do is I'd kinda like to talk about this piece here. Here we've got a to some power x is equal to b. If this is true, then log a b is equal to x. So all we've done is we've kind of rearranged this a little bit and we've, we've written it in logarithm form, which we've talked about in a previous video. The way that we read this, I think it's an important thing to say, how do we read this? We read this by saying log base a of b is equal to x. You know what, I'm gonna start just by color coding this a little bit and we've got our base there, we've got our exponent out here and then we have our result, or here is part of our logarithm there. But basically what this is saying is if we've got some number to a power, then we're gonna get a result. The logarithm just kind of undoes that so we can solve for what's in the exponent. So notice out here, if we do a logarithm, if we calculate a logarithm, we end up getting that result. So here we have our first rule. So if we've got log base a of two numbers multiplied together, then that's gonna be the same thing as adding each of those two things individually. That should look familiar. Let's go back to one of our rules of exponents to see how that might connect. Remember when we, uh, in our exponents video, or when you learned exponents, that if we had the same bases multiplied together that you would add those two things together? Now this is kind of like a way that you're unwrapping that, that you're undoing that same rule. Um, so this helps us find the different exponents of what these things might be. What about this one? Well, we, we also had a rule with our exponents with this one that that kind of connects to as well. But here, if we've got a log of some number of a base and we're dividing two numbers, then that's the same thing as subtracting that. And again, if we had a to the m over a to the n, same bases being divided, then we would subtract those two things. Let's go a little bit further. Again, our log base a, and we've got m to the nth power, that's gonna be multiplying n, the exponent here, so it's kinda of like we've got a power within a power, a power within a power. We had a power of a power rule with our exponents. So if we've got a power within a power, then this thing kinda of comes out to the outside here, and we're taking that times this result. Hey, look at that, a to the m, to the nth power is equal to a to the m times n. Okay, so again, we're seeing that we're multiplying some of the stuff. This thing is getting us an exponent, right? The result of this is getting us an exponent. The result of this is getting an exponent, and we're multiplying the result by another exponent. We're multiplying the result by another exponent. So it's a lot of the same stuff. You seeing this? You, you getting this? You with me here? What if we had log base a of a is equal to one. So a to some power, a to some power equals b. a to the first power equals a. Ah, so this is like an identity. So this is saying uh, a to the first power is just equal to a. That's like our kind of our expo uh, exponential rule that would go with that. What about this one? a to the a log base a of a to the m power, that equals just m. Well, that, that's, that's just a kind of building these two things here, right? So if we, if we were to write in an intermediate step here and we said, well, okay, that's gonna be times, like using this rule up here, here we've got a, a, a number and it's to a power, so we bring the, the power out to the front. So here the M is coming out to the front. What we would have is log base A of A. Well, we just saw that this thing is equal to one. So that's why this kind of simplifies down to being just M. And then finally, uh, if we've got a to the power of log base a of n, that equals n. Well, let's go, let's go back to this thing up here. One of the ways that I sometimes like to describe this is in, in order to, to write this as a log, I swing this a over here, right? So I swing this over and it becomes a log. Uh, if I swung this over here, right? Just like here, I'm swinging b a over and then I'm getting x equals log base a of b, right? That's kind of how I, how I go from this side to this side, swing the a over. So if I swing the a over here, this base, 
now is this is the, the result, right? So this thing becomes the result. So that's going to be log base A of N is equal to, swing it over, log base A of B is equal to the exponent. So log base, log base A of N is equal to the exponent, is equal to log base A of N. Oh, well, okay, so those two things are equal. So we, we basically have the same thing. So the way I like to think of it, the way I often tell my students is that this thing, if I've got log A log base A of N, I, I kind of say, well, this thing kind of simplifies out and you're just left with N. That's why we say it equals N. So, but here's kind of like, the, the mini proof of why this is, uh, that if we, we kind of rearrange it in terms of a logarithm uh, notation, then it still ends up becoming just that number. It's just n. Those two things are equal. And hopefully this is making sense because really all we're doing is we're doing the inverse function of, of each one of these things. We're just kind of moving back and forth. So there should be some relationship between these. I hope, I hope you're seeing that. So here's a couple examples. Uh, that we'll look at where we're going to apply some of these rules of logarithms. And we're going to get to that in the next video. So if this was helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.